In the past year, Kelsey had been treated for a broken collarbone and two broken legs. This is the 30-page deposition submitted to the court for a custody hearing back in June. In it, the word abuse is printed eight times. The bruises came with reasons. Two broken legs were hard to explain. <laughs> then was brought to me on April 14th with a sprained ankle. She had been to the zoo on a class trip with a maternal aunt had fallen off her platform um, flip-flops and sprained her ankle. Doctors in Shawnee yeah, said the sprained had. ankle was a spiral fracture. And Can to ease the pain, earlier? Kelsey overcompensated and fractured her other leg. Grandma wanted a second opinion, so she took her to OU Medical Center. And I told Dr. Um, Sullivan that I was wanting her growth plates checked. And he came back after a while and he stated that it was not a toddler fracture. It was not a stress fracture that someone had yanked on her legs and broken them. The pediatric orthopedic told the court the same thing he told Grandma. I've been practicing for 29 years and put casts on children day in and day out on the lower extremities. I've never seen a child break the opposite leg because they're in a cast for one leg. It just doesn't happen. I've never seen it. In fact, he then took Kelsey's x-rays to three other doctors. One of the leading experts in the state in diagnosing child abuse agreed. The deposition says neither of us have ever seen this happen as a result of toddler fractures in both extremities. A pediatric radiologist said that his impression was that this was child abuse. Then Sullivan sent the x-rays through the radiology department. The diagnosis, consideration should be made for the possibility of non-accidental trauma. Eyes with 90 years of experience saw child abuse in these broken legs. Sullivan goes on to explain, one of the things that is very important in making a diagnosis of child abuse is fractures in different states of healing. So we had a clavicle fracture back in February. It's in the process of healing. Now we have one broken leg, and then at some point after, that apparently the other leg was broken. Those represent a pattern of potential ongoing abuse. Grandma says even Kelsey knew something wasn't right. We were in there playing on the floor. We were separating some good pencils from some broken pencils, and Kelsey just stated, Daddy Mike hurt my leg. Making Grandma wonder what else Daddy Mike had hurt. Mr. Porter, can you tell us why Dr. Sullivan also noticed Kelsey had hair loss and in the court deposition says it's worrisome and a red flag. At this point, we don't know whether the judge took this document into account when he granted custody back to Ray John. The daycare provider is now closing up her business, saying the things that she's experienced and seen, far too painful. Bye. There's video from last summer of Kelsey playing in the yard. And shots from last Christmas, sitting with Santa. <laughs> There's also video with Kelsey and her mom, Radon Smith, on a trip to McDonald's during a supervised custody visit. Then there's Kelsey with her two broken legs. Even with casts all the way up her legs, she still tries to keep up with the other kids. The pictures were taken by Kelsey's daycare provider. She was just a really loving child. I see. I see Kelsey. Come look. Come look. Julie Sebastian says she noticed changes in Kelsey and testified on behalf of Kelsey's mom to help her get custody back. Happiest little baby as you could see until the DHS, the court system started getting involved. With uh, Kathy fighting for battle for it, just seems like they were fighting back and forth for Kelsey. It just, to me, it was like this little ball being bounced back and forth. Julie Sebastian says she doesn't know how much her testimony helped get Kelsey back into the custody of her mom, but she says even today she still stands by the mom and Michael Porter, the man accused of killing Kelsey, saying she doesn't believe either of them could ever hurt the little girl. Michael Porter, the man police say murdered Kelsey Smith Briggs, has filed for divorce from Kelsey's mom, Ray Dawn. In the hours after Kelsey's death, Ray Dawn's family never believed this would turn into a murder investigation. Now the time they were supposed to spend grieving has been clouded with doubt. For two weeks, Radon's family has been in rewind mode, searching for a better picture 
as to what happened to Mommy's little girl. <laughs> Forever will be etched in my mind. After they had told her that she was gone, that her holding her baby and rocking her for like two hours. If I honestly believed my sister had done or knew, I wouldn't be talking to you. And there's, there's no way. We're watching Kelsey. You see Kelsey? We're watching her. She's coming. Looking back, they say it's hard to believe Daddy Mike could have done the things he's accused of doing to Kelsey. I liked Mike. I thought he was a nice guy. I really liked Mike. I told Mike at one of the custody hearings, I walked up to him and told him he was a godsend to write on. Just, you know, being around Mike, I, I just, he's, you know, he has no past record. He seemed like such a, a nice dad and he acted like he always was so protective of her. And it, yeah, it's, it's really hard to believe. Two broken legs were hard to explain. I never believed they were accidents. <laughs> it's too late to ask Kelsey what happened to her legs or what happened the day she died. But Radon's family wants to believe Porter never meant to hurt Kelsey that day. Personally, I think, you know, he was trying to save her. And he, um, I don't know if he didn't know how to do CPR or what. I would like to think it was a seizure. She had been having some seizures. If it wasn't a seizure, what else can we think? The district attorney is calling the bruises on Kelsey's stomach murder. Had you ever seen Kelsey have a seizure? I haven't. I haven't either. No, I haven't. Julie? No. Can you go down the slide? Now they wish this voice was still here to answer their questions. The family also tells us Ray Dawn is pregnant with Mike Porter's baby. Kelsey's file is said to be hundreds of pages thick. In those papers, several agencies made recommendations to Judge Key as to who should get custody of the two-year-old. Ray Dawn, her biological mom, or Kathy Briggs, her paternal grandmother. One woman interviewed for those reports says she doesn't believe Mike Porter could have killed Kelsey. Oh, there she is. It's not hard, is it? Come on, Kelsey. Kelsey was a handful. I just knew day one when she started walking, I was going to be in trouble. She didn't walk for long, and soon the little handful was reaching for Julie's hand. Kelsey, she went from this high-spirited little girl to clinging onto my leg at the daycare. I couldn't leave, leave the room to go fix a lunch without her wanting to be with me. At daycare, Kelsey didn't have any problem standing up to the big kids. Okay, he's going to beat you. The kids would be outside, flying down the side. And she was right there with them. She was the littlest one of the bunch, but she just, she stayed up with all the bigger kids. <laughs> when the big people Kelsey went home to started fighting over her, Julie says Kelsey stopped fighting. Well, I would have to play games just to get her to eat. We would, I would sit there and we'd count peas together just so that she would eat a pea. It was very difficult. Julie. Yes, ma'am. You're doing good, Kelsey. I'm doing Okay. Julie says Kelsey would cry when DHS would pick her up for visits. At one time she came back from a visit and I noticed that there was finger marks around her little legs. So I called Ray Dawn to ask her if she had saw them. Come on, Kelsey. He's crying, honey. Those are the only bruises that I ever saw on Kelsey. Making it hard to believe Mike Porter could have done the things he's accused of doing to Kelsey. Do you think Mike Porter did those times? No. Down in my heart, I really don't think he did. Julie tells us the court-appointed special advocate or CASA worker talked to her briefly about Kelsey before the June hearing where custody was returned to Radon.